Owners, shoppers, drivers, it's time to talk Honda Clarity. My Clarity and I have had many adventures together, mileage, modes, battery management, and even my honeymoon. And I've assembled a guide for you that sums it all up. So strap in and come along for the ride. This is everything you need to know about the Honda Clarity plug-in hybrid. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you. This car is all about range and efficiency, and you can drive it just like a regular car and get a pretty decent experience, but we can do better than that. Let's fire it up, hop in, and check out what's going on from the driver's seat. You're probably here to find out things like, how far does it go on a charge? When do I use each drive mode? And what's the miles per gallon on gasoline? And we'll talk about all that. But first, you need to understand that all those things are going to vary. And some of the reasons are outside temperature, driving conditions, HVAC and accessory use, and acceleration. But here we are in the driver's seat. Let's get down to business. Upon startup, you've got two gauges. Right is gas. Left is charge. The best way to keep track, though, is the range display in the center of your cluster or the vehicle energy display under info on your main menu. The blue outline of the center cluster represents the electricity available and will display blue in EV mode. In other modes, it represents how hard you can press the accelerator before you'll turn on the gas engine. The key fob is very similar to the standard Honda key, but it includes a charger door button. And the climate control button is just a fan instead of a circular arrow because the engine doesn't start on the clarity. Open the charger door to reveal a US standard J1772 plug that will charge on any standard plug or any 240 volt level 2 charger. NEMA 1030, NEMA 1050, NEMA 1430, NEMA 1450, and so on. However, 240 volt level 2 accessories are not included. Standard charge time is approximately 12 hours and 2.5 to 4 hours on level 2. Any Clarity owners have level 2 at home? Let me know your experience in the comments. At the average cost per kilowatt hour of 14 cents US and a battery of 17 kilowatt hours, the EV range of approximately 40 to 60 miles would cost $2.38 US on average. You can find your state's average electricity cost at the link in the description. Cabin noise is average, but overall experience is excellent in EV mode due to the lack of engine noise. Noise, vibration, and harshness, or NVH, levels are higher than normal at times when the engine runs due to the nature of the type of engine the Clarity Sport a 1.5 liter Atkinson cycle four cylinder. The Clarity has wired Apple CarPlay Android Auto capability, adaptive cruise, Bluetooth, lane keep assist, and lane departure mitigation. The storage area under the shifter buttons allows for plenty of space to use the secondary USB port for a wireless charging station. The back seats are very spacious and have a 12 volt outlet, as well as AC and heat vents, which are controlled by the passenger portion of the Clarity's dual zone climate control. Heated front seats are standard on all models, but cooled seats are not offered. Is this a deal breaker? Let me know in the comments. Trunk space is good for a sedan with an under the floor storage area included. Towing capacity, 2,000 pounds. The Honda Link app can also help you manage your charging and energy consumption information. The Clarity, however, does not have a volume knob. Your best bet is using the volume buttons on the left side of the steering wheel. Console storage is limited, but ample for most needs. Don't expect to be able to store your laptop. Seat comfort is average, but there's not a lot of cushioning and lumbar support. There's no spare tire included, just to fix a flat. The Clarity runs on regular unleaded gasoline and has a seven gallon tank. Factory tires are Michelin X Energy, but the most reasonably priced long range tire I've been able to find is the Mastercraft LSR Grand Touring. The standard cold pressure is 36 PSI for the front and rear. If charged daily and driven an average amount for US drivers, oil changes are about once a year, but experiences can vary greatly based on driving conditions. The 12 volt battery is a no maintenance battery. However, with prolonged downtime, it can die. Additionally, if you disconnect it, many of the driver systems will say they have failed until you drive several miles. The tire pressure monitoring system in the Clarity uses rolling resistance and other calculations, and not pressure, and can be quirky at times. The Clarity has four drive modes, with an economy toggle switch. The car runs in EV mode as default, and for short trips, there's no need to change it. When trips start exceeding 20 miles, or a trip is started with less than a full charge, there are many ways to manage your remaining energy, with the most important focus being to conserve a small amount of battery or EV power at all times, as the Clarity is least efficient when 
when it's out of electric range. One way to do this is to save the EV charge for city streets, low speed roads, and stop and go traffic. Do this by activating HV or hybrid vehicle mode on highways and other high speed roads. In order to have the best highway driving experience during high speed travel, utilize sport mode so as to have access to all of the car's resources for increased throttle response and acceleration. Do you use sport mode for the highway? Let me know in the comments. Use HV mode to conserve between 5 and 15 miles of EV range when the length of your trip exceeds that amount and or you aren't able to plug in at your destination. In the event that you run low or out of EV range during a long trip, take advantage of HV charge mode to recharge up to half of your EV battery capacity. This is the least efficient drive mode as it uses gasoline not only to propel the car, but also to charge the battery. So only use it when you need to. Another way to charge the battery while traveling is regen braking. When you're not accelerating, the Clarity will automatically recharge the car using the car's rolling resistance, which will also slow your car. However, you always have have the ability to increase or decrease the amount of regen braking you use with the paddle shifters on the left and right hand sides of the steering wheel. Utilization of the paddles can help manage your speed without having to brake or accelerate, increasing your range and increasing the life of your brake pads. Let's do a little paddle shifter demo. In a situation where you want to use the brakes, instead of using the brakes, you can use the paddle shifter. This is the left paddle here. And if you look, there'll be arrows that'll come up. Fuel economy is rated at 44, 40, and 42 miles per gallon. EV rating is 110 MPGE. While these numbers are accurate, real world mileage is much more complex. Real world range in EV mode, for me personally, when tested, was 36 miles at 70 miles an hour and 43 miles of low speed stop and go traffic. These were achieved with climate control set in the upper 60s. As far as combined numbers, for trips under 200 miles or less between charges, it's very common to experience gas mileage between 55 and 70 miles per gallon. Once you run out of electric range, expect gas mileage to hover around 40 miles per gallon. My first 25,000 miles, I spent about $310 on gasoline and drove just over 80% of the time in EV mode. Let me know about your Clarity economy down in the comments. I sold my Honda Clarity with 27,000 miles on it at the beginning of the chip shortage for $20,800. The Honda Clarity was discontinued by Honda in August of 2021, so new models won't be available going forward. I had no maintenance issues with the Clarity. However, there is an AC condenser recall and the warranty for that part has been extended. If you're looking to buy one, check and see if the condenser has been replaced. The warranty for a Clarity is three years, 36,000 miles basic coverage, five years, 60,000 miles on the powertrain, and the battery has coverage for eight years or 100,000 miles. New merch and social pages, as well as my brand new Patreon page in the description. Clarity owners, let me know your favorite thing about the Honda Clarity in the comments. Clarity shoppers, what did I miss? What other questions do you have? Let me know down below. Friends of the channel, what can I improve on? Help the quality of this channel with your feedback in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great experience with my Honda Clarity and I would recommend it to anybody trying to find an efficient commuting vehicle. Subscribe for more and we'll see you on the next video. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.